Basically, right now, there are, should we say, issues related to global flows that are both cyclical in nature and also more structural in nature. So one of the key cyclical questions at the moment centers around uh, global economic resilience. On the more structural front, some of the things that we are focusing on right now are, for example, geopolitics. What's the outlook on this front? We've already seen a rise in restrictions on trade and investments, and that's already had an impact on the direction of trade flows and also investment flows. If we continue along this line and we have more restrictions, if in a more adverse scenario we move towards more geoeconomic fragmentation, that's not just something that would have an impact on the direction of flows, it's also something that would weigh more broadly on global flows and would actually be a headwind uh, to the global economy. Of course, some economies will potentially gain from the associated nearshoring that you would see in this con context, uh, friendshoring, etc. But, but overall, it would be at a loss if this happened for the global economy. Other things we are watching out for that could have implications for, for global flows are things like AI. What are the implications for AI going to be for broader productivity in economies? But also, what's the differentiated impact going to be across countries, sectors, and profession? That's something that will have an implication for both uh, capital flows and trade flows, and also to some extent, uh, labor flows. A uh, third thing on the structural front that's important, I think, to watch out for is climate change and green transition. Both comes with significant investment needs, and that will also clearly have implications for, for global flows going forward.